सर लॉट्स ऑफ टॉक इज गोइंग ऑन द पलमोनरी आर्टरी हाइपरटेंशन सो वॉट आर यूर थॉट्स ऑन हाउ इज हाउ प्रीवेलेंट दिस पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन इन ग्लोबली एज वेल एज इन इंडिया डॉक्टर इंग्लू दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन of all the disease that we see as a cardiologist this is the most frustrating and most debilitating disease that we see as many as 3 per 10000 patient population is affected from pulmonary artery hypertension normally pulmonary artery hypertension has got five varieties one is idiopathic then pulmonary artery hypertension because of uh, left heart disease or because of lung disease or chronic persistent thromboembolic phenomena or unknown factors but this is very frustrating because the average life span of a patient after being diagnosed of pulmonary artery hypertension is only 2.8 years that is within 3 less than 3 years the patient will be lost and much more surprising and troubling is in pediatric age group doctor this survival is only 8 months so consider the frustrating aspect a child has been diagnosed pulmonary artery hypertension and within one year he is no more and surprisingly and interestingly and still challenge to the cardiologist the medicines and treatment have only improved the quality of life but they have not been able to prolong the life span the exact life span has not improved substantially while as compared to the patients of myocardial infarction tuberculosis hypertension and diabetes mellitus in fact in regard it is the medicines change the natural history where the natural history in the terms of longevity is not improved maybe with the newer and better medicines maybe with the newer research attacking the pulmonary artery hypertension at a different footing altogether may we may be able to prolong the life beyond 3 years 4 years 5 years as of now is much more dangerous than the cancer See the average life expectancy, as I mentioned, is only 2.8 years. Nothing. Yes, sir. So, sir, what treatment modalities are available so as to reduce this morbidity and mortality? And is there any new addition to the uh, treatment modalities? What include? See, a lot of uh, research and development of new molecules is going on. As you are yourself aware, development of a new clinically useful molecule takes 20 to 25 years right. before it can come to the practice. earlier we were using pde5 inhibitors like sildenafil tamiflu for pulmonary hypertension calcium channel blockers are also being used but a new compound has come on the horizon that is known as riosigot riosigot is a compound which helps in increasing the presence of cyclic guanosine monophosphate you will ask me what is this in the smooth muscle cells of the bronchial the this compound cyclic guanosine monophosphate increasing the vasodilatation it affects in the smooth muscles improves the production of nitric oxide which again improves the vasodilatation so this particular compound is an ester this promotes the soluble guanosine enzyme which is present in the smooth muscle cells so when the soluble enzyme is more the dilatation is more it also helps in increasing the sensitivity of the nitrous oxide even at low levels to dilate the right, bronchioles right sir so sir uh, according to you what clinical trial evidences are available for yosugat and uh, what is the future in india see uh, india is a developing society a lot of attention is coming on the angioplasty angiography and all the things or artery wall replacement unfortunately <laughs> we must admit not much of research is still focused on the pulmonary artery hypertension but certainly large scale with huge volumes research is required for development of a better and newer molecules